You guys were saying that you have uh, ad-supported content and premium content. Um, uh, how is that uh, percentage-wise breaking down, and um, what what does the premium content offer that that people may not know about? Sure. So uh, it's a yeah, you know, it's the normal sort of um, free ad-supported you know ratio to to premium ratio. The vast you know uh, volume is is on the free ad-supported. Um, products uh, with a you know, smaller percentage on, on the premium, um, but both are doing phenomenally well and both are sort of exceeding our goals and um, budget uh, projections. You know, uh, every month we're sort of staggered. Uh, we get accused of sandbagging uh, every once in a while, but um, we're, we're absolutely thrilled uh, to be in, in that place. And, and the big differentiators for us um, really come around the content uh, sets. Um, and so, you know, within our um, our free products and services, you get all the things that you would expect um, from the weather channel. Uh, you get current conditions, you get forecasts, you get uh, interactive maps, um, content um, where available. You get severe weather alerts, which is sort of you know, the ante for us um, to provide uh, you know, that to our customers. Then within our premium products, uh, we, we provide sort of enhanced uh, weather um, uh, data, we provide L LBS um, products are coming very soon that will give uh, consumers weather where they are, not at the nearest airport, but where they actually are. So that, that I think will make a big leap forward uh, in the marketplace. And then the other thing that we provide today um, uh, on the iPhone and, and rolling out on other platforms uh, with our premium th service is our TruePoint um, future radar. So it's you know, radar into the future for the next six hours is a big um, sort of differentiator for us. Um, and then the, the other thing, and it's a simple thing, and it's it's used everywhere. Is you know, no ads um, is also a feature um, of a premium product versus an ad-supported product. Uh, speaking of ads, um, there's been a lot of talk in mobile advertising that you know there's too much inventory available. There's not enough. The measurements don't work. The metrics mm -hmm. are not there. Um, what is mobile advertising is 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 coming, but again, it's still early on in the thing, and so. Right. What are the frustrations for you, and what are the things that you think we're, as an industry, well on our way to solving? So, I think you know we probably have a slightly biased point of view, um, uh, first of all. But you know we're very bullish on, on mobile advertising, um, partly because we're a media company, but partly because of the success we've already seen. Um, there's a, there's a big appetite out there, but it's early days. Um, you know, it's early days for the industry. It's a somewhat immature. Um, ad marketplace, we need to take the onus to make it easier um, for our customers, um, both on the advertiser side um, uh, and on the uh, agency side, uh, so that it's easy for them to buy um, and put money into the marketplace. But that's just a maturity issue. Um, that's something that we'll overcome. Measurement is, is in that same category. It's really a maturity issue. Um, you know, I think we're going to see measurement in the next 12 months come online, and I think, you know, the early results are so promising um, for the types of targeting and the capabilities that are available on, on mobile that you know, the promise of right time, right place um, advertising is deliverable um, and, and we can do some of that today, um, but that's going to become even more compelling in the future. Good. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.